Guys, just a little update on the uh, smart active balancer for knee. It turned on at 3.45, but it never turned off. And the whole day today, well, yesterday, last night, today, it balanced the battery. It balanced it that much that when we recharged it today, we had an imbalance 6, 7 and 8 again. The inverter turned off, the BMS turned off, everything turned off because three cells are so out of balance again since the day before yesterday, since I activated the balancer. It is a good advice, not leave your active balancer running all the time. Just use it as intended. It should balance at the upper voltage, in the upper state of charge, 3.45 onwards, not below that. It destroys your top balancing. <sighs> Back to square one. 230 millivolt deviation we have. What the frog, guys, what the frog. This battery was perfectly balanced to 3.65 volts just a couple of days ago and now it's completely destroyed. The balancer is running and running and running and nothing happens. I mean, look at this. Some of the cells are almost at 3.6 volts and other ones are not even at 3.35. Welcome back to another video here from the off kit garage in sunny hot Australia. We've got uh, 8 amps outside early in the morning. In today's video, I want to <laughs> show you what the new smart active balancer actually does. As you can see, I have disconnected it from the big battery. Here, here are the balance cables. Not connected anymore. Because as you have seen at the beginning of the video here, I had some really, really bad experience, some trouble with the smart balancer again. It destroyed my whole top balancing again. It was balancing the battery all the time. So pretty much it did exactly the same as these smart balancers. Okay, so before I show you what the smart balancer does, I want to I wanna start the screen recording here for this. This is the QUCC Xiao Xiang BMS app. Well, we all know how balancing actually works in a BMS. You have to set a certain balance start voltage and it will start balancing cells which are above this start voltage, right? So here with the QUCC BMS, for example, it is called a balance turn on voltage. And I've set this to 3.65 volt because it's turned off at the moment. Every single cell now which goes over 3.65 volts, that means the BMS will basically put a resistor across this one cell and discharge it slowly. And we are now in the JK BMS app. And we can see here we've got a start balance voltage of 3.45 set. I can, I can change these settings to whatever number I want to start the balancing happening. And then if a cell goes over 3.5 volts now, it will get balanced. So at the moment, all my cells are just above 3.1 volts. So if I set the voltage here, the start voltage to 3.1 volts, the balancer has already started balancing because all of the cells are over 3.1 volts. So what is the highest? 3.155. If I would set this one to 3.16, okay? It will not balance because none of the cells is over 3.16 volts, right? And this is pretty much exactly how we know balancing works. We are setting a start voltage cells are above the start voltage they get balanced so either with an active balance method or just with a resistor and it bleeds off the energy and also this is exactly the same in the dali bms only with the exception that this will only happen during the charge process so the dali bms is not a real balancer it only balances while charging so you cannot you cannot leave your battery sitting there with the bms connected 
and hope it will balance the cells over time. This is not happening with DALI, but you can use pretty much any other BMS for this purpose. So, and as you have seen from previous videos, when I used this active balancer here, this is turned on forever. You plug this one into your battery and it starts balancing straight away. It balances all the time. I have never seen this balancer stop which caused a lot of trouble in the battery because when you discharge your battery and you have a deviation across your cells, the balancer doesn't care, it starts balancing. It reads the voltage information of your cells and starts balancing your whole battery. When you charge up your battery again to a higher state of charge or higher voltage, you will see that the battery is out of balance because the balancer has done a lot of work in the medium or low state of charge area and now you charge it up again and you are in trouble because the balancer cannot keep up to balance, to rebalance your battery again when you fully charge it. So that's why we said, well, these active balancers are good, but they are not good all the time. You should turn them off. You should only connect them at higher state of charge, higher voltage to only balance them, which makes sense because all BMSs do that. You can set a start voltage to balance. And this makes only sense in the higher voltage area of lithium iron phosphate batteries, for example. So, and then I bought this one here, the NEE Smart Active... I don't know how this is pronounced. Well, it's a smart active balancer. It comes with its own app and you can set start voltages, you can set deviations, you can set the balance current. It all worked just fine. Well, until I discharged my battery in the last couple of days since I had this balancer installed and it completely destroyed my whole top balancing. The day before yesterday, I fully charged the battery the first time for five days or something. I was here in the garage doing some other work here on this other battery. All of a sudden, the BMS totally freaked out, started beeping. I could hear the relay clicking, the light turned off, all my power turned off the BMS shut down completely. I looked in the QUCC app and could see three cells have a really high voltage and I had a deviation of almost 300 millivolts. I said, what the hell, I've got an active balancer running. It, it should kick in at 3.45 volts and start balancing the cells. Well, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't start. The balancer was connected, but it was turned off. Okay, I want to show you what happened. I am so brave and reconnect the active balancer once again. Second one. It beeps. So we are confirmed turned on. Here we are. So at the moment you can see at the top here the switch is off so there's no balancing happening. But you can also see that the actual balance current is changing. So even if the BMS is turned off, it is balancing. I'll turn it on. It is balancing. I'll turn it off. You can still see the numbers are changing. It is balancing with three amps. Huh? How is this possible? Why can I turn it off and on without any effect? Anyway, we have a quick look at the settings. So we've got a start voltage of 5 millivolts set here. So this is the difference between all the cells. If they are larger than 5 millivolt, it will start balancing. This is one criteria. The maximum balance current is 4 amps, which is the maximum the BMS can do. And the sleep voltage is set to 3.100 volts at the moment. So this would mean, if we think back to our BMSs we have just seen here in the video, all batteries with voltages above 3.1 volts will be balanced, right? I usually have this one set to 3.45 because I have made some changes now to the settings. I have to turn off the balancer here and then turn it back on or I can restart the app or I can disconnect the balancer. This is just how it works to apply the settings. That's fine. Well, and now we can see there's no balancing happening because none of our cells is above 3.45 volts as I have set here in the settings. So that is all good, right? Most of our cells here are at 3.387. Okay, let's lower this one here to 3.3 .3 volts, right? And then we have to 
uh, turn this one off, turn this one back on. And now we are on 3.3 volts. And all of our cells are above 3.3 volts. Exactly. There's no balance current. The balancer is not kicking in. Even our cells are above 3.3 volts, we have said. And I did some testing yesterday and said, well, this is all weird. Even if I set them lower to 3.2 volts, which is then clearly like this, nothing. It doesn't balance, right? It doesn't balance. All our cells are above this nothing. And it's not working. It's not balancing. 3.1. Nothing. All cells are above 3.1 volts, right? Okay, we set this to 3 volts. Turn off the balancer. And now we can also see the system status up here changes to a sys-test completed. Well, before it was always showing low voltage. So I'm turning on the balancer now. And guess what? It is balancing with 4 amps but I have to set three volts as a sleep voltage. So if I set the voltage back now to 3.3 volts and turn on the balancer again, it is still balancing. Well, before at 3.3, it wouldn't do anything. So obviously there is a certain voltage difference between turning on and turning off the balancer. Well, I did some testing the day before yesterday and couldn't quite figure it out. So I disconnected the whole machine then. Well, later that day, I sent a text back to the motherland, to the People's Republic, asking for help, to the manufacturer directly, and say, look, this is what I'm experiencing here with the new smart active balancer. It is not working as intended. And they told me, well, it is. This is actually as designed. This is as per their design. And the lady told me the smart balancer has a voltage difference of 0 0.3 volts. Yes, 0 0.3 volts, that's 300 millivolt between turning on and turning off. And this is exactly what we have just seen here in the app. I need to go 0 0.3 volt below the actual voltage now to turn it on, to trigger the start of the balancer. And she said, well, the best is to set the sleep voltage to 2.5 or 2.7 volts. And I said, no, no, that's, that's not good enough. I don't want to have the balancer running all the time for obvious reason, right? And I said, usually I only charge to 3.45 volts. How do I have to set it if I would just want to balance above 3.45 volts? And she answered back, if you want to start the balancer at 3.45, you have to set your sleep voltage to 3.15 volts exactly 0 0.3 volt lower. So what that means is, if we hit the 3.45 volts, it will start balancing at this voltage. But if we then discharge the battery, the balancer will not turn off unless we hit the 3.15 volts, which is our sleep voltage in the app. Only then the balancer will turn off. And then it waits again until we hit the 3.45 with one of the battery cells. So I got back to them again and said, well, this balancer is then unusable for our needs. I need to have it start at 3.45 and need to have it off at 3.45 again. Like all the other BMSs we have, right? The QCC does it, the JK BMS does it, and the DALI does it as well. There's one voltage. If you go above, it starts balancing. If you are below, it stops balancing. But no, not the knee smart active balancer. And I've asked them, well, can you change the app to have both these values available so the customer can set a start and stop voltage themselves, which would totally make sense. You know, I can start balancing at 3.5 and turn it off at 3.45 again. So that would be ideal. And she said, well, no, no, cannot be done because this 0 0.3 volts is hard coded in the software in the chip. It is not customizable. And I told her again, well, that's not good then. We cannot use this BMS at all for lithium iron phosphate, at least. 
it would be only for very specific applications for a I can't even think why would you why would you have a 0.3 volt voltage difference? And she explained to me, well, their engineers found out it is not good for the battery if you turn on balancing on and off all the time. Well, and due to the language barrier a bit, it is very hard to argue with these guys, you know. And also I was just chatting with this lady there, so she was always asking the engineers again, the technicians in the background again, and then came back to me and I asked her something and she went back and forward, back and forward. It was a bit cumbersome to, to get this conversation actually started, but at least we got the confirmation now. And she explained, well, if the difference is too close to each other, the balancer would turn off and on all the time then. I said, nah, that's not quite how these batteries work here, especially not these high capacity batteries. If you have very small batteries, maybe yes, yes, could be. Voltages are rising much faster, but with these high capacity cells, it, it takes some time to actually balance them, even with four amps, especially at 3.45 volts. Well, anyway, um, this is how far I came with the manufacturer now of this device, with the designers. She also said, well, there is no need for them to change this at the moment, unless there is a lot of demand from people wanting to adjust these two settings um, individually t uh, through the app. And I said, well, maybe I can create some demand for you to get this changed, but this is unusable. I have changed the video description of the Nii Smart Active Balancer here already and made people aware of this 0.3 volt difference. And I also have this text on my website now, so before you order, be aware. Well, I can't show you this right now because, um, well, well, probably I can. Okay. Uh, let me have a look here. The voltage difference is 26 millivolt at the moment, deviation, and change this one to 100 millivolt. Yeah, I want all the cells within 100 millivolt. Turn off the balancer. Turn it back on. And it still keeps balancing. Even all cells are only 25 millivolt apart from each other. So these are the two settings which I found are not working as I would expect they work. Yeah, so that night I sat here with my battery again and the um, Chinese cracker here and recharged single cells with 40 amps and top balanced my battery once again, just after a week. And then I totally disconnected the whole balancer. I left it off, but yeah, I don't really understand what this design is for, this 0.3 volt difference. And it is not accessible through the app. It is such a good device. It would be a perfect device if it would follow the common rules and turn off and on the balancing at the set voltage. So at the moment, it looks like we cannot do very much unless they have a lot of demand, a lot of feedback from customers that this is shit. So if you have ordered one of these balancers already and are waiting for delivery now or did already get one, please leave some comments down below. And if this is the same shit show as here, get back to the manufacturer wherever you bought this balancer and complain. Just to give you an idea, this is my um, system info. It um, spits out here. So I'm not sure if you want to compare this to yours and see if you have a higher hardware or software version or something. But the production date is here from the 15th of September 21. So this is a brand new device, actually. This is only three weeks old or so. Yeah, guys, anyway, this is why I have disconnected the balancer altogether. Well, eventually, eventually, I will install the JK BMS anyway for the existing battery and also for the new battery here. So we'll have two JK BMSs running in the battery shelf here. And as we know, the balancing turn off, turn on function works just brilliantly in this BMS as well in the QUCC BMS and I think also in the DALI BMS as well.
So there's no real need for me to have an additional balancer connected. But I will keep following this up with a manufacturer in China and just keep complaining about these missing functions, non-working app, non-working balancer. And I guess the more people will complaining with them, the sooner they will change their design, the app, the hardware and the whole setup of their active balancer. It is such a good device. It balances with four amps all the time, regardless of your difference. I really, really hoped this is the one, but it is not there yet, it seems like. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Thanks for all your crazy donations. I very much appreciate them. And it is great that you support the channel in this way. Guys, until the next video, you stay charged and stay safe. And thank you so much for watching again. See you then. Bye bye.